Welcome to this aircraft engineer and today let's talk about how we start the Airbus A320 auxiliary power unit also known as the APU. Let's go! Okay, this is our aircraft before anything else is initiated our batches are obviously apu batch start is not available that means you cannot start the apu in this sequence the yeah, apu is off yeah so basically we just go through a general check of the aircraft system just to check if everything is okay but before that this is just a disclaimer please do not use this video on an aircraft environment this is just a an illustrative video just for general knowledge please use to approve maintenance documents so right now the batches are off we check our batteries and then we check our fuel as well we need to make sure we've got enough fuel to run the APU and then after that we just check the basic status of the APU make sure that there are no fault messages relating to the APU the APU area is clear so now let's go for our batteries our batteries are off we need our batteries on our batteries are on let's check on the on the on the, on the, on the display batteries are on voltage is okay and right now we are on external power so immediately the batteries are being charged as well uh, which is good but uh, 28 volts DC is okay so and the battery should be on at all times when the APU is running so that the fire extinction system is operational so back to your APU page everything is still off so now let's go to the aircraft status page you realize that green APU start not available message is gone so that means our batteries are on and we are now ready to start the APU so now we just go through a brief check of the systems to check if everything is okay our batteries are good now we also do an APU fire test to check if the APU fire extinguishing system is operational very important now our master switch is on and our indication should come live should come on yes apu gen uh, rpm is on and egt is on now also we need to wait for the flap open message that will let us know that the apu inlet door is open it's not mandatory to wait for the flap open message but it's just good practice to 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 to, to do it uh, you only need uh, three seconds you only need three seconds to for the ecb to power up once you turn the apu master switch on and also when you are starting the apu without any any external power you don't have the display to see uh, the message but anyway it's just good practice so our apu start switch is on and our apu uh, rpm is coming up in egt as well so basically when you're starting this page is just important for you to to to, to monitor the indications just to make sure that uh, we, we you monitor the ember and the red mark of uh, the, the indication the egt limits and the rpm limits but uh, generally all is well so as you can see here yeah, rpm is going up at approximately 50 percent uh, the ecb will remove power from the uh, apu starter and then the apu will uh, accelerate on its own and uh, right now yeah 65 percent uh, yeah so now uh, the apus you can you can you can check with the egt it will uh, come up and uh, it will rise up and come down as well so now we at 900 percent apu available messages on so what the, what the message basically tells you that the APU is now ready to load. Whether you want to load electrical power or pneumatic power, that means you can uh, turn on the APU bleed switch. So let's go to our APU plate. That's our APU plate and that's our APU bleed valve. So let's turn on the, our APU bleed valve and see what happens since our APU is now available. APU bleed is on. And yes. Yes, then the cross the, 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 the cross blade valve is uh, coming on as well for the right pack. Yes, so now we are our pneumatics are live, our air conditioning is running, and you are also able to start the engines with uh, pneumatics. So basically, our APU generator is on, and right now our electrical is on uh, external power automatically. So you can uh, switch it over by turning off the external power and then the APU generator will come online so this is basically how we start the APU but but make sure you pay attention to all the safety precautions so like and subscribe for more 